Hi, I'm Tara. I just wanted to let you know that Canva have introduced gradient text, which is absolutely fantastic. It takes all the work out of it. And um, with the click of a button, we now have gradient text. So um, I'm just going to show you how to quickly do it. So let's get started. So this is the Canva inter interface. We are going to pick Instagram post square, but you can pick whatever, whatever size suits your project best. So when we wanted to do a gradient text before, we had to key it out, we had to download it as an image and remove the background. But now Canva have introduced a new app and it's absolutely fantastic. So when you click on app and you go up and search, key in type and you get type form, type graph and type gradient, which is just amazing. So this little icon comes up when you click on it. It looks kind of similar to the Typecraft, if any of you are familiar with Typecraft. Um, that's this app here, which makes um, wavy text. I have another um, video about that if you wanted to look at that. Anyway, here is the gradient. So basically it allows you to key in a, a group of text, change the font and, and add a gradient. So um, you have to actually add this to the design. To your design so then it appears on your artboard and then you can go and start kind of playing around with it so the font is currently Anton which is kind of um, sometimes a, a default font um, and as usual there's absolutely hundreds and hundreds of fonts but the only thing I would say is that when you pick it Although it ticks it, it doesn't it doesn't show it up here. So it's kind of like, have I picked that? And it's only when you click back that you can see that it's actually in the font. So don't get um don't get kind of confused or thrown by that because um it can be a bit yeah. Uh it, whereas in Typecraft when you key it in, it actually it actually appears. So um so then so we um have to update the element. And then it'll it'll appear on your artboard again. So alignment we have uh, left, center, right, and then the line height is actually what's in between your um, text, not um, not your font size, not the text size. Um, it's what's between it. And then we have um, we have the gradient. So when you click on the gradient, you can add more colors if you want so say we wanted that one to be yellow and that one to be pink um but don't worry if you if you you can add lo lots of them but you can also delete them but you do have, you have to um kind of just select it and then and then delete so um it's it's pretty good um and then you can also if you do know um x code you can you can key it in there as well um, which is which is pretty good. So we're going to go with this pinky purple, and then um, down below in the preview, you have the ability to change the angle of your of where your gradient is going to lie. So you can either lengthen it or shorten it or or turn it. It's it's really good, I think. Um, and then you just update element, and then within that you can you can make it larger or rotate it and it literally is as easy as that it's absolutely fantastic thank you canva it's amazing um i'm sure lots of people are really happy to see that you can now with the click of your mouse you can now do your gradient thanks for watching if you've enjoyed this tutorial please hit that subscribe